Assalamualaikum. Alhamdulillah, ala kulla hal. God is good in all conditions. Easy, salam. So, and I say, Rastafari. Rastafari. So, all I want to say basically is, you know this brother here, sorry, let me just get the call. Brother Jeff Mohammed. When when I saw Jeff Mohammed at the in the um, police station, and they were trying to mistreat me, they're trying to strip search me, and I was saying to them that Rasta man are really in at the strip wow. search. <laughs> 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 I felt, I felt alone in the, in the police station yeah. no. I couldn't no. see because they get um, spray in yeah. my eyes and then they tried to say, I heard them plotting behind me saying yeah he assaulted me and all this I, I apparently pushed them in their chest or something like that so I thought they were actually going to get away with this a part of me, I'm going to tell you because I felt alone in there but when I saw this this brother, the swag, everything. No, no. Even, even I started getting treated extra privilege. Would you like dinner? <laughs> <laughs> because of this brother here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh, oh. I'm not going to even lie to you. I was in the cell, I'm a smoker, which is kind of bad. But the brother, the brother was just easy. He said, brother, if you... Even though, don't be afraid because I'm from the nation. Or if you need to go and smoke, go and smoke. <laughs> he wasn't judging me or anything. He was that's there to help me, bro. I felt, I felt like an angel of God was yeah, beside me. for everybody who turned up and also Uncle Minka as well. But I grew up with Uncle Minka. Yeah. From the days I used to disrespect my mother and have to go to Uncle Minka's house. Rip up cardboard boxes till my hands sore. Uncle Minka. And I also like to give shouts out to un um, Uncle Bandaka as well anyway in there. And I stand up a pillar in the community and many others as well. Pepper Kai. Pepper Kai. I'm getting into that. Uh, now I just, I don't want to take up too much of the time but I've been selling educational DVDs in the community since 2004 in Tottenham and we yeah. basically along with this brother Nuba or Brooklyn yeah. as well yeah. he's been there since the 90s That's right. and it's just like the, um, the song by Chronix when they say capture land we just yeah. capture yeah. it and, and just make it our own yeah. this doesn't go outside the room though <laughs> yeah. yeah we capture that because because we got the right you understand to disseminate information That's right. So we've, we've been suffering, remember news, they've been taking our stuff, this is not time we got caught on camera, but they've been taking our stuff and arresting us and harassing us. They've even sent undercover um, police officers like black men say, yeah, is this Asha Kwesi and everything? We say, yes, oh, you're under arrest. <laughs> we've gone through all of that. So basically what happened now, I have to give a massive shout out to Uncle Pepperkai because we, he was responsible for the transition from educational DVDs into literature because they've already tried to brand me from Brixton. I came up here with educational DVDs they saw a Khalid Mohammed documentary and said, what's this about police brutality? And tried to arrest me there. But because of the people of Brixton, there's something special about Brixton, car. Because of the people of Brixton, they never, they never took me from They never took me because the people say, just like you, man, just like way, man. And then they felt under pressure. So I'd love to give a shout out to the people of Brixton, car. It's coming all the way from North London. Sometimes in North London, that don't happen. And that's how I tell you. We've been, we, we, we just, since we transferred to books, and this is last year working with Uncle Pepperkai, we go to, we're like a set free man cell, including Jacking as well. Jacking, Noah, big shout out to Noah Kerr there, and Negus, who's, who's been banned from Lambeth. Yo. Notice how a brother from the Nation of Islam protected me. I'm not banned from Lambeth. But unfortunately, the brother signed up with some next white lawyer, and you, know, you understand what I'm saying? But my policy was say nothing in the station. Until I, until I see a familiar face, you don't know me, I'm not even giving you my name. Yeah. Okay. You understand? So, basically, we're not going to stop. As I said, sorry to shout out over you, we're going to be back next Tuesday. We're going to have to be more organised, like have a collection and everything like this, because sometimes it's how you react to things. And I did want to punch a couple of the officers, but something said, you know what, let's expose their brutality. Why don't you like me? I'm, I'm, I'm here dis disseminating information. Even white people come and buy right. books right. on the, you know, the Honourable Louis, Minister Louis Farrakhan. You understand? Countdown to Armageddon. 
You understand? Mm. They, they say, oh, is this the book? Uh, for, yeah, you understand what I'm trying to say? They, came, they come and not purchase, sorry, not purchase, but they come and we give out the material. Yes. Yeah. You understand? So why, why is it that we're not selling drugs? Mm -hmm. We're not killing our brothers. Mm -hmm. There's an other brother called, um, in Tottenham called Yeezy or Manuel who, who goes around with a peace treaty that says we will respect our brother regardless of area code. Mm -hmm. Because there's not, how, how can we be repping for an area and we don't own nothing in the yeah. area? Yeah. Yeah. We don't own nothing in the area, yeah. nothing. You understand? Even the, the, the things that we use the most, like the weave shops, there's Asians in there. Right. And we work, in Seven Sisters, we work outside the Asian yeah. store. Yeah, yeah. And we keep our we keep our things inside the store. You can ask Nuba. And there's been many, many times we've heard them say, Oh, get out of our shop, you monkey. Or and you ask them, Would you wet, let your women wear that? They say, No, she's Asian. So they're racist openly. And our people still go in there. Yeah. Even when it's locked, they're banging down, please, please, I need it. And it yeah, 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 yeah. Embarrassing man, embarrassing. So so what I'm saying is we need to have a sense of pride. That's what yeah, we're something, saying, God, something the is. most honourable installed in us. Pray. Yes. You understand? Real I'm not gonna. Pride. I'm not gonna. Hit, but I'm gonna stand my ground and see what. Uh, that's what turning the other cheek really means. It means how far are you willing to go? Why, why you wanna kill me for? You guess me. I've never. I haven't done anything to you. I've just stood my ground because I'm within my law to be there. Disseminate information. Article 10. The next thing you know, this spraying me in my face and saying I assaulted them. So if it wasn't for brothers like from the Nation of Islam, because one thing is, I'll tell this. I'm not afraid to speak about this. There's many Sunni Muslims. You want to criticize the nation of Islam yeah. and say they're racist because yeah. they're just dealing with yeah. black people. Yeah. Where were you when the yeah. police sprayed me in my face? When were you when police sprayed me in my face? I didn't see any of those yeah. Arab loving kind of yeah. Muslims on, offending me. Talk this it, brother man. here that said it's going to be okay, don't worry about it. Yeah, come on. You understand? You are a but you are my brother. <laughs> Of Word. Their sense of discipline and their sense of organization. Yeah. 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 You understand? Yeah. So not to go on too not, not to go on too much, but I give thanks for the Brixton community for the support that, that you've shown. And we will we'll be there next Tuesday. We'll be more organized because they said no further action. So that means that you know we're going back. Conversation with black people. We're God's people, right? Yes, yes. people all the time. Yeah. We're God's people. Yes. And the challenge to us is you see how much love there is in this room? Yes. If we can multiply ourselves, mm -hmm. then we can end, you know, black on black <coughs> violence and crime. Mm -hmm. And we can absolutely end this former slave master brutalizing any more of us mm. and our children. It's time now. You know it's time? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know when things like this happen, it's not an accident. No. It's a test for us. That's right. And by the love in this room, I think we pass this test, brothers and sisters. We pass this one. We pass this one. So let's discuss the way forward. No, there ain't no one leaving. Yeah, in fact, you are right, though. Because one of the things that we have to appreciate, even this building here, this building costs us tens of thousands of pounds just to have on an annual basis. We don't own it, we rent it, but we want it somewhere big enough that we can have events like this. Are you hearing me? This is Elder Eric Let's give our brother a big round of applause. Let's get the receptive. receptive Sister, thank you, brother. Mr. Hillary, point that board up very quickly. Sir. If I may. 
just before we go into um, questions and answers and that kind of thing, thing two very quick things. Sorry, two very quick things. I, I do think I haven't. I don't know if this was done before, but I do want to send a, a big hail to um, Auntie Nefertiti, who's Solomon's mother. Um, I love to her. Um, and, and many of us, many of us gathered outside Brixton because of the, of the work of this sister who is also here. And I, I, I want to ask her if it would be appropriate to see if she has anything to say before we go any further. Sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Would you like to show some words, sister? Give thanks, brother. I do have something to say, and actually. Come here, Hello. I'm going to say, you see this brother over here? Yeah. What's his name? Suleiman. Yeah. This, my brother here, has been through some serious, serious, serious times. I can't tell you. And as black people, we know what those serious, serious, serious times is all about. And I can't tell you how proud that I have been of my brother and the other kings that have been represented on that store. In 2016, when you have Kindle and you have Twitter and you have all these things, getting young people to come down and sell and, 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 and share hard black books with the community, black literature with the community that you can't get at a Waterstones and you can't get in your university library. I have had white and Asian uh, colleagues and friends of mine going, is that your brother? I've been on that store about 10 times already. <clears throat> Do you understand? And um, for me, um, the, real, the real pain is, is when I saw that footage, yeah? Of my brother being pepper sprayed and choke holded and kicked and, and brutalized. Um, but it's not something that we, we're just seeing now, brothers and sisters. It's something that we've seen time and time and time again. And we're here right now not to reminisce over the brutality, but to talk about organisation. And that's what, meant, what was mentioned, is that we're here today because we're looking at what are we doing moving forward, okay? And just by looking around, I, want, I would love to hail up Uncle Minka because you said it, Elder. You said it already that there's enough people in this room already. And some of the ones that haven't been held up are those sisters who have stood by my side, okay, in this community, who I think should rightly be called to these panels. Yes, hail up the sisters from Black Lives Matter. There's black uh, sisters in this audience right now. Emma Akko, Stella Bell Gam, Sister Nahanga, okay. to these panels okay there should be the ones that you ask what is their opinion what are they doing this mm. stella's got a black study group yeah. emma apple has got uh, poetry meets art which is um raising awareness for con conflict minerals in the congo so there's people out there brothers and sisters who are mm. doing work and a lot of them are the younger generation yeah. mm. so that brings me on to the next part which is intergenerational work yeah, yeah. i represent an organization called the umbele initiative and it means the way forward okay yeah. we've been established actually for six years registered for two okay but in the last two years we were able to do research and look at our community spaces why don't we have no community space yeah, yeah. what is going on in our community mm. we don't have no research we rely on their research so we decided to do our own okay and because of that, we were able to uh, deliver a report which was at least a, 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 a stepping stone towards uh, dealing with these big funders, these big banks, Bank of England and all these people, and saying, where is the quota for our community? Why aren't we aware of community space that exists for our community? So my brother has actually been um, trying to um, formalize his charity into a business also, which is why there's such a, a confusion over whether these books are being displayed or whether they are being sold. So I just want to set the record straight for those who don't might not know what is going on. Elder Pepepai has been distributing black books to our community for what? 30? 50, 50. 50 years? Over. Yeah, and over. 
number one in our community for that. Yeah. And so my brother came and said, let me invest in that. Do you understand? Elvin Hills was like, why don't you come and deliver the, uh, come and take the books and see how you get on. Because they're piling up there, okay? But it's about the intergenerational work here, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, that I'm trying to get at, okay? Because my brother actually had the intention to go to Elder Pepperkai and say, let me help you out, yeah? Mm. Uncle Pepperkai has knowledge, but my brother also has knowledge. Do you understand? And they were able to work together to bring this about. Uncle Pepperkai is a registered charity. It was able to distribute the books on Uncle Pepperkai's behalf. Yeah? Huh? And, yeah, and then... The books, the money that is raised from the books go back into the Ma'at Ma Centre, Ma which is a community space, yes, sir, which is right. one of the only we'll ones that we yeah, have. Yeah. Yeah. Not just in yeah. London, but in the UK. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. I'm really urging us, brothers so, and sisters, not to just talk about what existing organisations can do, but also to look at the work of the individuals in our community. Yes. Those that might, want to pres might not want to prescribe to your organisation. But they're there, and they're ready, and they're willing. Yes. And the reason why people are so attracted to bookstores like um, uh, Black Child Promotions is because they speak a language that Una is not speaking, yes. okay? That is not being spoken in the, the same set organisations that have existed, that do amazing work, brothers yes. and sisters, but not with our young people. Yes. They're not engaging, they're not outreaching, they're not stretching far enough. Right. Do you understand? But when they hear something is happening, they're all out. Do you understand? They might not know about a uh, nation of Islam. They might not know about Al Qaeda or Revisions. They might not know about um, INAP, okay? But they know about black trial promotions. Mm -hmm. So know that we can come together, we can work together, but we really need to strategize how that's going to happen. And we need to, like we said, repair the damage within our community. Mm -hmm. So all these different organizations, Let's have that great example that Uncle uh, Minka was speaking of. Because we see it. Me and my brother, we've grown up from small, we've seen this. Okay? And we know certain elders is not speaking to each other. We know certain elders is not on the panel together. We know! And you come here and you say, you know, yes, we need to work together. But we know you're not working together. We can see it. We are the children. Okay? And so we're saying, meanwhile, let's get on with what we have to do then. Because they're not ready, but we're ready. Elders. We love our elders and we appreciate that wisdom. So it's a it's a it's a two-part thing that has to happen here. Yeah, we need to have that conversation with our elders. You need to be honest with us. When we're talking about building up our community, we don't have the capacity. Well, how are we building our capacity? It's one thing having a legal surgery. Let's have certain times where we really study together, where we really learn these things. Sometimes we're listening, we're hearing the meat, we don't even know what these words are, we don't even know what's being said. I don't know about accounting, I don't know about economy. I need to go and study that. I need to go and spend time with my sister and say, actually, I have a problem with maths. I need to understand that. And we need to have compassion. Yeah. We need to understand that we're human beings. Do you understand? When we're saying black lives now, we have life, we're human beings. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we need to have compassion for one another. Right. It's one thing cussing out the same people who've been at the same set meetings for the last three, four decades, okay? But let's outstretch now, because a lot of people don't even know that there's a Pan-African community in the UK. Yeah. And I'll close on this. I was um, privileged to be able to attend the General Assembly for the African Diaspora Youth Network in Europe. And I'm now on the board for this organization. <coughs> this organization is about bringing together different member organization from across Europe, specifically dealing with issues that affect young Africans in the diaspora. Mm. And we're looking to affect policy, advocate, lobby, set up different kind of programs. And this is what brothers and sisters across Europe are doing, okay? Mm. Brothers and sisters from Cape Verde living in Portugal, from Togo living in Romania. I've been and I've seen it in the last six months and I was amazed at how much is going on outside of the UK. And we're a small minority within the UK, and yet these actions are happening. So there are structures in place. And if we were all more aware of what was going on, and really were able to communicate with each other, we'd be able to get a lot more done. So I want to give thanks to everybody who is in this room now, everyone who supported. You know, my mother was bawling when she saw that footage. She was in pain, because it's not the first time 
that she's seen her, her son in that pain, but it's not the first time she's seen a black man in that pain. Mm. Do you understand? The amount of uh, rallies and protests that she's been on over the years with Elder Minka and so many others in the community, it's not a joke. But we're tired of the same old, I'm tired, do you understand? And I'm my mum's wash belly, and I'm tired of that talking. So it's now really forward movement. Let's hear the voices of the young, let's hear the voices of the sisters and brothers in the community who might not be part of organisations. Let's get some diversity up in these panels, in these spaces, and let's think outside the box. Because as much as it is about uh, honouring our past in order to move forward, it's also about innovation, brothers yeah. and sisters. Mm. We're a creative people. Mm. So let's create for the future, let's build, let's grow, and I give thanks for all the support. Wow. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, time is always the enemy, and we're going to try to conclude at 10 p.m. this evening. We will go on with your consent, but 10 p.m. is the time that we have given to conclude our affairs. As my sister mentioned, of our great sister empresses who are here, who have contributed in a great way to our liberation struggle, I personally don't know everybody, so I give thanks when somebody points out somebody, because that's our work. So once you point them out, then we can recognize them. So the sisters, who sister mentioned, can you stand up so we can recognize you, please? Please stand up so we can recognize you. I know he has to leave, but he's a great pillar of strength in our community. Let's recognize him and thank him for all the work that he does and is doing to inform us other people. We love you, brother, and may God guide you and continue to be with us. Thank you, sir. Would you like to share a few words before you leave? <laughs> thank you, Toy. Let's give him another big round. to wrap up. Could I ask you to give me some of your views on the way forward, what ideas you have?